fish on. It's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, he's just really large. Look at this rainbow. Wow, it's a tank. Hey there, welcome to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I am fishing the Fall River this weekend up in Central Oregon. I'm in the hatchery area, which is a pretty well known, the Fly Shop and Sisters pointing me in this direction. And I'm gonna walk up uh, right to, there's a confluence of where the water splits into the hatchery that's all owned by the hatchery and we can fish it uh, trouble free. So I'm gonna fish this little section here. Let me show you what I got. All right, let's do this, fish on. All right, I got my five weight Sage TCR with my tried and true Orvis Bat and Kill. I'm gonna start off with uh, kind of a Madam X. It's, it's a stimulator with a red body. It's a nice hat, so it's easy to see. Hopefully that might stimulate a bite. And then below that, I've got a dropper. I don't know if you can kind of see it here, but it's just this little kind of flashback pheasant tail. And I think that could be, uh, could work. I've got a fish actually starting to rise right in front of me here and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get him to come up and eat this little setup here. Not a ton of room to cast. Super clear water. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get a nice drift here. I don't know if you can see him, but there is a big fish right there. Can you see him? He is large. Came up and looked at my fly once. He is a big boy. <sighs> that fish is huge. You can see around me, there's just no room to cast. But he's rolling around and eating. There he is, I'm gonna show you again. So he's right there. Big, big fish, just beyond that dark spot there. Wow. Oh, oh, he ate it and I missed. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, that fish is 20 plus inches and you saw it. He went after it, just was patient, kept carefully hanging it over his head. And he finally went for it. <laughs> and I missed. <sighs> Just a couple more in there. I'll calm down. Hopefully I'll have another chance. But you saw the size of that thing. That thing was big. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Night number two on the Fall River. You guys know what happened on the last one. Man. I missed it. It's easily over a 20 inch fish, super long, heavy girth. Just one of those, not a lifetime fish, but one of those ones that you're gonna think about for a while after, uh, after missing something that big. So I'm headed back to the same spot and my hope is that my uh, luck will be on my side. This time I'm gonna go specifically with that small Madam X that he went after and stay away from the dropper to start off with. I also have my nymphing rod as well. So, sorry, I'm out of breath here, out of shape. You know, I don't have a ton of confidence with the nymphing rod yet, but my plan is to at least get it out and try it. But I'm gonna start with the dry first and hopefully get that fish, if he's still there, to rise up and eat it. Wouldn't that be cool? Biggest problem is though, there's so many pine trees across the water and they almost go, all the way to the other side and I can't really wade too far. Um, just, it has kind of a sketchy bottom. So if I hook them, it's probably gonna be a lost fish. I wanna have a positive attitude, but unless I can just corral him in this little area of the river, if he goes 30 yards upstream, he's gonna get into that pine. If he goes 30 yards downstream, he's gonna get into the other pine. So it'll be interesting to see if I do catch him, if I can land him. So let's go do this. All right, fish on. Did you see that? 
he rose twice right down there. I'm gonna have to be kind of stealthy. So let's uh, sneak down there and see if I can throw this fly right in front of his face. Let's go do this fish on. You know, it's funny, I don't know why I'm whispering because they certainly can't hear me. So you can see it's kind of overcast skies. There's a little, little bit of blue sky, but this light, this low light might help me. Let's see if he comes up again. Oh yeah, I can see fish. Yep, see that? Oh, all right, let's just go do this. Deer right there. It's not paying any attention at all. See that? That's not frustrating at all. <laughs> They're like right in front of me. <laughs> Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat my pie. Just look at all these fish just sitting here. <laughs> That's incredible. I see one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fish. All just kinda relaxing. That is something else. Getting out the Ural nymph rod. I don't know if you can see these fish here, but they are literally right in front of me. The Ural nymph rod to the test. There we go, fish on. Oh, oh. the year on the no. It's light, light tippet. And he's gonna try to go into those rocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, fish on. Oh, he's huge. Stay out of those trees. Nice. Come on, baby. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. What a gorgeous fish. Look at this thing. Beautiful red band. Oh my God, that's a gorgeous fish. On the Euro nymphing rod. Wow. That really is gorgeous. Wow, looks like he's unhooked. That is a pretty fish. Look at this guy. Pretty. Hi, right, buddy. Here we go. Beautiful fish. Whoa. Holy smokes, that fish was gorgeous on the Euro Nymphing Rod, and I was just going through the fly, so I tried on this little pink worm right here, a little salmon worm, and he came up and devoured it. There we go. Oh, fish on. It's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Set it right in front of his face. Oh, I gotta get this guy in the reel. Before he takes off. Oh yeah. 
he's he's got some weight to him. Oh my god, this is a huge fish. Just an absolute bruiser. Oh my god, he's just really large. Look at this rainbow. Wow, that was a tank. Holy smoke. Holy smokes. That thing was a tank. That was over 20 inches, probably four or five pounds. That thing was a monster. Oh my God. Fall River, spring fed, cold and beautiful. The fish are big, the structure is plentiful and the opportunity to hook into and break off a very large fish on a small river, it bounds. Oh, broke me off. Oh, shoot. Oh, I went right into those trees. He was gone.